hello guys welcome once again today i have another indicator that i want to explain to you guys so you can look at it try them up and then walk use it for your trade now what i really want to say here is that this indicator has been useful if i did has been useful so uh you can also try it out okay you can have your free download from my website by just clicking on the link in the description part of the video and use it to well use it for your trading so uh before we even start i will just ask anyone yeah, watching this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel because there are more of the videos coming and then number two if you have any question kindly leave in the description part of the video and i will okay i will answer them i'll do videos on them for you and then there are more of these indicators coming and my aim is to let you try your hands on them so that you can also have profitable trades now i'm going to show you the way i use these indicators so that you can also try them up okay you can also try them up yeah so uh let's first get to these indicators and the indicator is called fiji trend okay fiji trend yeah fiji trend so you can see it these guys gives you the trend okay by showing an arrow and based on the arrow you know where the market is going so you can even look at this particular thing and realize that uh this is okay this is uh i can say this is uh an uptrend okay looking let's just looking for a way to oh well, my line isn't coming but anyway you can you can realize from here that this is an uptrend because you can draw your line from here and it can just get to this particular position get here you can see it is an uptrend and then let's look at the direction let's look at the direction whenever we look at the direction you can see it's an uptrend now let's look here when it was coming from this particular place it is sell tunnel and this is a down uh, signal and let's come to this particular position it showed you a buy and immediately show the sign uh, which is uh, down again and to this particular point it started showing you uh, what do you call it the buy uh, signal one particular uh, down signal just some few seconds let's say some few minutes and then it started going up okay so i think over here you have to understand that after coming down like this it will go okay to go an extra mile yes to go much more before even coming down again so uh just by drawing okay just by drawing your what do you call it just by drawing your trend lines yeah that is something you need to also learn just by learning to to draw your trend lines you should be able to know which way it will go but one strategy i normally use is i sometimes leave them to come into my support and resistance okay yeah, so you can see from here that i have this line which is s2 i have this line which is s1 and that is support number one and this is my support number two whenever you come here i have my resistance number one and i have resistance number two so we all know that whenever it goes up to where the resistance is yes it will hit the resistance and come back to the support okay yes that is actually how i used to trade so i just look at this particular angle and i know that it just crossed the support and i'm expecting it to hit or get to one of these uh resistance and come back but look it crossed okay it was able to get it way through this resistance number one and even resistance number two okay and came back to even resistance number one okay cross the resistance number two again and came down you can see it came down went down to 
support one hit the support two and started going up again now look here it came back it went here came back to support back to what do you call it uh resistance then came back to support and i'm sure it is also going back to resistance you can see it from here so from here to resistance it came to support okay and i'm sure it will go its way back here okay it will go its way back here or it can just come down one way i can say it can come down more is because it has bypassed it has broken through the support number two but you can only say or get to know where it will go when you draw a trend line okay when you draw a trend line so one best way out is to is to enjoy let's say with this particular resistance and support thing okay uh, but one way is also that you need to you need to go with the with the, with the trend so you see from here you see here here it was saying the trend is coming down so imagine you were able to buy at this particular level okay you were able to buy at this particular level where it says that it's coming down it came it came at this particular junction it came and at this particular junction let's get here you see that it started ranging at this particular end because they are at the same level instead of coming down like this when it got here at this particular place okay all these guys were at the same level it means that it was it's like it's ranging it's ranging at this particular end okay so if it's well if you are someone who masters this a lot you can end your trade at this particular point and start or wait for uh the uptrend okay or wait for the next trend yes but you see that it is just ranging at this end let's get to this particular place and see to you see it came down it's a sell at this particular place place yes it started with this okay so the trend from here and it came down up to this particular place okay so let's say that it came up to this particular place and then it started ranging at this end it started ranging from here okay yes so normally this can be news or something like that okay this can be news or something like that if i started ranging so immediately you see this it goes up and then you can just by the type of candle over here you can you can end your trade okay yes. now there are many instances you, you have you can get to know that well this is a quality trade but as i said earlier as far as it has hit the support here you are sure it is going to the resistance so if you can wait for a longer trade yes this is h1 and these candles are formed every one hour every one hour so it took from this particular support it took about how many hours one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17 hours okay so if you're a trader you need to be patient in fact consistency is, is actually good uh, it's, consistency is good but having patience with your trade is also very good so that is it 17 hours to hit the resistance here and you can calculate your profit okay you can calculate the profit here you can calculate the profit so at this particular end you can see it because if you are waiting look if you are waiting for this guy say sell and then over here it says buy it means that if you bought it let's say you sold at this particular end and then you waiting for it to get to this particular place to say that uh buy okay you see your buy let's see let me just check it out Okay, you see, we will be in a loss. Okay, we'll be in a loss. 
so why is it is ranging at this particular end why not take your profit you see so you can see from this particular end it was ranging so why it is ranging why not take your profit and then uh, walk out of the market okay whenever you check here too you can see it was also ranging over here it was ranging here so why not leave the market and wait for appropriate okay appropriate sign now let's get to other areas so the same can be for here, here.